As an e-commerce seller who make full-time living by selling on eBay and Amazon, this is my honest advice to somebody who is just starting out. If you have an eBay or Amazon account and you have listed at least one product, regardless if it's getting sales or it's not getting a sales, that's not the point. Because I know hundreds and hundreds of people, I speak with them on a regular basis, they are in my close family and my friend circle, they will always call me and they will always, I will say, literally waste my time to be honest with you, and they will not end up selling anything. It been years and years, those people, whenever they realize that they get motivated in the middle of night and they think, okay, tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I'm gonna call Zed, I'm gonna ask him everything which I need to know and I will get started. And at the end, they will not get started as well. So if you are somebody who have started, you have created an eBay or Amazon account, you have already done 50% of the job. The rest of 50%, we can actually learn along the way. The next thing is gonna be a little bit heartbreaking for you, but I think it's my moral responsibility to let you know. If you are someone who is starting to sell on eBay and Amazon as your main source of income, and you don't have any other source of income to put the food on the table, for example, pay the bill, pay the rent, support your family, or even support yourself, it's not actually a good idea. Because it takes time to replace your full-time income with the income that you will earn from eBay and Amazon. For some people, it can take a couple of months. For some people, it can take a couple of years as well. So it really depends on person to person at the end of day. There is nothing wrong with working nine to five at minimum wage, because at the end of day, this is how the life is. But at least once you are working somewhere, you will know by the end of the week or by the end of the month, you will get paid and you will be able to put food on the table as well. Third thing is very relevant to the second point, which I've just made. Let's say you have another source of income. You have a 9 to 5 job or any other way to support yourself, pay your bill, then don't be actually afraid to take a risk. I know it can be very hard to put a lot of time and invest some money up front for very little reward. But if you stay patient and if you stay consistent at the end of the day, I can tell you over the period of time, the amount of work that you're going to be putting in, it's going to become very less and the reward going to get higher day by day as well. But it is hard to stay consistent once the reward is very less and the amount of work is really, really high. A lot of people argue and say, I put that much time and it doesn't even cover my minimum wage as well. But it is business at the end of the day. And this is how it works. So there will be some days you might make, let's say, 400, 500 pounds within one hour. And there is nobody that I know is getting paid this much money for one hour. So in the business, you can't really see the terms of trading your time for the money. It's actually stacking cards in your favor day by day. At the end of the day, those things will pay off. So the fourth thing I want to talk about is there is no secret pill. There is no secret formula to be successful e-commerce seller. If I was Isaac Newton and if I was Einstein and if I will invent something which never existed in this world before, I will make tons of money. But that's not the case for most of the people. So what we do, we find the existing product and we sell them with the better presentation or we sell them with the better idea. Let me give you one example, right? One of the most top selling product of mine on Amazon is actually two meter iPhone charging cable and three meter iPhone charging cable. Once I was thinking about the product research, I was saying, okay, there are a lot of people who normally buy just the one meter standard iPhone charging cable, but there are tons of people who might need to charge their mobile on the bed and the socket is not close to us. And normally one meter charging cable is not that long. So let's try two meter charging cable. And the competition was way less. It's an existing product, but I'm actually selling it to a different people who have a different need as well. So we are repackaging the same product and we are selling with a different idea. A lot of people, they just say, okay, I'm gonna find the product and the next thing they do, okay, I'm gonna be the cheapest seller in this product. And how are you gonna make profit at the end of the day? The price is a factor once you are selling the product, but it's not the only factor once you are 
listing the product you can have a better packaging for the product you can have a better presentation for your listing and you can have a higher quality for the product you can have a better seo for the product as well it's not always about the price being a cheaper is easier to beat the competition but in this business model you actually end up making not much profit and you easily gonna burn out yourself the next thing which i want to talk about and i will include myself inside as well i will say do not do not trust anybody on the internet including myself unless they haven't earned your trust there is no course on the planet including mine which is hiding some kind of secret formula or some magical pill which will make you rich overnight the whole purpose of buying a course is to have the combined information in a detailed and structured form everything at one place as compared to watching hundreds and hundreds of videos on the YouTube. Anything nowadays can be found freely on the internet. So if somebody tell you, which I say including myself, that they are hiding some secret recipe formula or something inside their course or their mentorship or anything for that sake, is not true there are some people who will normally say you don't have to do anything nowadays we will actually design your store we will add the products and all you have to do is just sit back and count the money to be honest with you stay away from those people and i'm not trying to come across a person that i'm the only honest one on the internet as i say i'm including myself inside you cannot trust anybody unless they have done something to earn your interest so if the people will tell you they are making this much money or they're making that much money by doing this little bit of work or they have some kind of secret to be honest with you that doesn't motivate me at the end of the day it is hard work at the end of the day you will be the one who have to learn each and everything you can't think of i'm gonna, just gonna hire a virtual assistant from a philippines say like guy india or pakistan and they will do each and everything for me people hire other people to take the workload off from their back they don't hire other people because they don't know how to do that particular job so if you are not familiar with how these things can be done at the end of the day and you hire somebody to do that for you it's not gonna work because at the end of the day it's your money on the line it has to be you who have to learn each and everything and then to scale the business you can hire more people who can help you in your journey and move forward from there as well so at the end of the day do not trust anybody who will tell you they will build everything for you and you just count the money i'm gonna link one video right here who will ex which will explain you everything that you need to know about finding the hot selling product which will sell on a consistent basis on ebay